much quicker. So what I, I'm doing, if I take the, uh, the mode of driving, I can ride the bus, I can ride the train, I'm still in the same dimension. But if I want to get there quick, fast, in a hurry, I go to another dimension called flight. And that's what God wants to do with some of you. You're just trying to move from a bus, from a bicycle to the bus, from a bus to a car, from a car to a train. Let me tell you what God's got better grace for you in, in your life. He wants to take you somewhere you've never been before and you got to let some things go. Forgetting those things which are behind. You got to let it go. You got to move to another dimension and say God I've never been here before. I don't know how I'm going to operate it but if you be with me I'm willing to go all the way even if I have to go all by myself. This is a one-way journey. This, you can't buy a buddy pass on this journey. You got to go by yourself. Mama may have, daddy may have, but God bless the child that has his own. I've got something that I need to let go, but I've got some things I need to hold on to. Can I go with the let go stuff first? Well, I said you got to move from where you are. Secondly, you got to go to another dimension. But in order to go to the next dimension, you got to let some stuff go. You got to let line go. Anybody know any habitual liars? They lie so much they begin to believe their own lies. You got, uh, y'all don't have none of them in Charlotte that lie so good that they even belong, believe their own lie. They get the sun be shining and say, no, it's raining. And they come in with an umbrella talking about, yeah, it's raining. It's raining somewhere, but it ain't raining outside. You got to let them folk go because God says that a liar shall not tarry in his sight. You better cut them loose because they are nothing but cancer to your soul. You need to let backbiters go. Call you on the telephone. Talking about, did you see? Said, no, I didn't see. I was looking at Jesus. Because see, if you start entertaining gossip, you got to let it go. Ditch digging, you got to let it go. See, there are some folk that want to put you up and then get you to talking about stuff. And then they'll go back and tell everybody else, I didn't say that, baby. She said it. Yeah, I was talking to her. And you come up in our conversation. No bigger lie. You started it. You ought to own up to it. And since you didn't, I'm going to cut you off and move with Jesus. Anybody? Oh, oh. There, Lady Terry, two kind of hurts that's hard to get over. That's hard to let go past. The first is family hurt. Because they your blood. That's hard to get over when you get done wrong in your own family. Anybody know I'm telling the truth? And the worst time that that happens is when a loved one goes to be with the Lord. That's when family folk, in most families, well, maybe I ought to say my family, began to act stupid. They began, and you have to realize if you didn't have it before, you won't be any worse off if you don't have it now. Just cut the ties and move on. Say, baby, if you got to have it that bad, go on and have it. I'm going to be all right because I got something that you don't got. And I know that's bad grammar, but you need to sometimes just break it down, break it down to the naked bone truth. Say, I didn't ask for it, it was a gift, and if it be God's will, I have it. If it ain't, I won't, I'll still be blessed in the Lord. You got to let some things. The other hurt is church hurt. I would ask, has anybody experienced? They tell me confession is good for the soul. But have you ever dreaded going to church? 
I think I heard you, Pastor Bob, when you say when you packed up your books and your Bibles. I've done that. I say, God, I know you called me, but I don't think they heard you. So I'm going to pack up my stuff, take it to the house, and when they decide that they want to hear you or somebody else, I'll take them back. And as soon as you get them packed up, God said, I ain't told you to go nowhere. I didn't never tell you to be attached. And one of the things that I found out in this walk, in this, in this 38 years of preaching, that, that it ain't about me. And that's what messes up so many of us and get hurt in the church because we wear our feelings on our shoulders. We wear them, we're focusing, you know, when we used to be kids, I don't know where you're from, but I'm from the country and we draw a line in the dirt. And, amen. And we put something on our shoulder and say, you bad. Anybody from the country done that? Maybe you city, you bad. Come across this line. I got something. I ain't been saved all my and there are days that I feel like I'm acquainted and akin to Peter y'all do know Peter don't you Peter walked with Jesus but Peter was always packing Peter wasn't going to let it go and say I'll fix it I don't care where it is and we got some Peters in the church who can't let go of their packing sometimes all you need to pack is the word of God because the word of God will do more than you can do all by yourself you gotta let some stuff I, I wish somebody had lived where I live and it's hard for me to understand Paul when he says not only to let it go but he says forget it I'm, I'm gonna let it go but he says forgetting those things I, I'm gonna let it slide this time anybody ever said that uh, but I ain't forgot Paul says Forgetting those things. That man or woman that treated you bad. Now you got a good man or woman. Forget the past. Because you're going to end up losing what you got over your. Stop complaining about the boss that didn't do. Now you got one that's trying to help you get to where you need to go. Forgetting those things which are behind don't worry how you've been mistreated in the choir on the usher board on the deacon ministry and all them other things don't worry about it because that this is not your home you're just a traveler let it go and if you know what i know you book passage to another place where the wicked shall cease from troubling and the weary shall be at rest Lest I be too long in this place today, there are some other things that you need to let go. You need to let go of your attitude because your attitude will mess you up. You don't know when to speak, when to be quiet. You don't know how to say yay or nay. The Bible says let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. You need to be who you are. I am a good me. I am a poor imitator of somebody else. Stand on your own two feet in the country. They said let the tub sit on its own bottom. You better be who you are and let go of trying to be like other folk. You better, if you got to emulate anybody, emulate J-E-S us emulate somebody that was willing to lay it down and on a third day morning uh, was able to pick it up emulate somebody that knows what you've been through that was willing to come down and be born in a manger wrapped in swaddling clothes that uh, hey, 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 yes and the stars shine and angels sung because god's son was laying in a manger but i stopped by that's not the end of the story. You can let that part go. Because babies are born every day, even in foreign countries, in a place, in a place called a man.